Good morning. Welcome to Sunday School. My name is Carolyn Hayes. I am the Director of Children and Young Families here at Gaithersburg Presbyterian Church. And this is the first of our Sunday School classes for 2020. Um, the caption for the picture that we showed during the children's message said, I am there with them. And it comes at the end of a passage where Jesus is talking about how to how to deal with it when people get mad at each other, particularly people who work together or live together like a family or a community. So I'm going to tell you a story and then we're going to work backwards. I'm going to tell you a story about a brother and sister, Bob and Joan. Now Joan was the big sister, but not by a whole bunch. Bob was just in the next grade down. Joan was taller than Bob and it drove him crazy. Well, not forever. He ended up being well over six feet tall and she was just five, six. But at the time, it made him nuts. In fact, pretty much everything about Joan made Bob nuts and about Bob made Joan nuts. They didn't even mean to drive each other crazy, and they did. So one day, Bob had a great idea while he was at school. And all the time when he should have been thinking about American history, he was thinking about this comic strip that he was going to draw. And all the time he should have been talk thinking about long division, he was thinking about the comic strip. And all the time, he was supposed to have been reading the passages and thinking about the passages with the teacher. You guessed it, he was thinking about his comic strip. He knew exactly what he wanted to draw. He knew how it was gonna look. He could see it on the page. He knew what colors he was gonna use. He thought it all out. This was gonna be epic. So when he got home, he knew he had to finish his homework. So he, he got home, he finished his homework, and he was so excited. I'm done. I can go do my comic strip. He went right to the cupboard where they kept all of the, the arts and crafts stuff, the paper and the pencils and the crayons and junk, and everything was gone. <sighs> Joe. So he stormed up. He knew she was in her room. He stormed up to her room and there she was sitting on the floor. There was little bitty, bitty bits of paper everywhere. She had spent all the time he was working on, on his homework, trying to do one of those snowflakes where you fold the paper and you do little bitty cuts and it makes a really pretty snowflake. Well, she couldn't get it quite right, so she kept trying. She used up Bob was so mad, he just clenched his fists and stomped away. He didn't say anything. Because generally, if he said anything to Joan, it ended in a fight, and he usually ended up on the losing end because she was bigger than he was. Well, the next day, Bob had not forgotten, but he had calmed down. So, He's going to school and he got through school and he's walking home and he thought, it's okay. I'll, Mom said she was gonna go get more paper. So I will, I can get home. I get to have a Twinkie. I'm gonna get home, I'm gonna have a Twinkie. I'm gonna work on my comic strip. I love Twinkies. And, uh, and he was so excited thinking about the comic book and thinking about Twinkies and he's kind of walking along and he's, he's thinking of it. He loved Twinkies. He loved them so much he could, he could taste that Twinkie as he was walking home. 
and he was he was just it was this everything was great so he walked in the house he walked up to the cupboard he put his hand in the empty twinkie box now twinkies generally were safe because joan didn't like twinkies she liked ho-hos but today he ate the last twinkie that was it that was it he was done he got mad he was mad about the twinkies then he got mad all over again about the baby and he got mad about some stuff that he'd been mad about a week ago he was so mad he flew up the stairs he was so mad he was crying he was so mad he got to the top of the stairs and ran smack into his mom and she looked at him and she said bob what on earth and he just collapsed he just collapsed he would he became a sobbing shaky bright red little boy and he was just a mess and he threw sobbing little shaky voice told her exactly what had happened it took a while because she was sobbing he was sobbing and shaky and then he'd cry some more but he got it all out and in a very calm loving but firm voice his mom said bob did you say anything to joan about the paper <laughs> no <laughs> i didn't it wouldn't matter she just hit me no but he didn't tell her he didn't tell her how upset he was about the paper Bob, have you ever told Joan how much you love Twinkies? No, she doesn't like Twinkies. That's kind of why I like Twinkies, so I can have them. It's safe. But have you ever told her? No, I just thought she knew. And his mom looked at him in, his cal in her calm, loving way and said, Bob, if you'd never told her, how could you expect her to know? <laughs> oh, you're right. And that's kind of what Jesus is saying in the course of this the passage that, that we're going to read in a minute, that when people live together and work together, they're gonna make each other mad. It's just going to happen. But if we tell each other and let the other person know, then they might not do it again. If you love and respect the person that you're telling and in your heart of hearts know that they don't mean you any harm, they may have made you crazy, but they don't mean to make you crazy. They just manage to do it really well. If you, if you remember that when you tell them, then you give them the ability to say, oh my gosh, I am so sorry. I had no idea. I will try so hard to never do that again. And if I do, it's a mistake. And please feel free to tell me again. And that when people love and respect each other and when they can tell each other those kinds of things that's when jesus is with us when we are with each other in a spirit of love 
and respect, that's when Jesus is with us. That's one of the things he's trying to tell us. So let's read the let's read the whole passage and then we'll finish up. We'll say a prayer. Okay. So this is Matthew chapter 18, verses 15 through 19. If your brother sins against you, go and show him his fault just between the two of you. If he listens to you, you have won your brother over. But if he will not listen, take one or two others along so that every matter may be established by the testimony of two or three witnesses. If he refuses to listen to them, tell it to the church. If he refuses to listen to if he refuses to listen even to the church, treat him as you would a pagan or a tax collector. Remember, Jesus loved pagans and tax collectors just as much as everybody else. He may not love what the tax collectors did, but he loved the tax collectors. Sorry, we keep going. I tell you the truth. Whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven. And whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. Again, I tell you that if two of you on earth agree about anything you ask for, it will be done for you by my Father in heaven. For where two or three come together in my name, there I am with them. This is the witness to God's word. Thanks be to God. So, if you have an argument with somebody at school and you can't work it out between you, go tell the teacher. That's like going to the church. Get help to work it out. If you still can't work it out, and that happens sometimes. You don't have to love how someone is treating you, just the person themselves. So, go now in peace. God go with you. Treat yourself and others with love and respect. I hope to see you soon.